Welcome back. Today we're going to take a closer look at the CV engine testing and prototype. This test stand compares the CV design to the CS, or crankshaft design. We will be measuring the piston linear force, rotational torque, piston side load, and piston stroke. We have two test units, one based on the CV technology and the other based on the crankshaft. We use two identical pneumatic cylinders to apply pressure to the top of the pistons. Both units are supplied with common regulated air pressure for the duration of the test. Each design's output force or torque is measured with CDI rotational torque sensors at each movement. The crankshaft unit uses a load cell to constantly measure piston side load. With the unique CV design, the piston has no cylinder wall contact, and so there's no side load to be measured. While the center shafts of both units rotate in unison, Mitutoyo linear scales measure the motion of each piston stroke from TDC to BDC. During the test, stepper motors rotate the center shaft of each unit with sensors taking readings at 1% of the crankshaft rotation. Both test units' designs duplicate engines with matching bore and stroke measurements. As the test continues, some of the CV design advantages become clear. But what does all this data mean? Well, let's take a closer look at just one of the key advantages. Let's zoom in on power output. So at the beginning of the power stroke, when combustion pressure is highest, the CV engine transfers the force acting on the piston into rotational force with over 500% more leverage than the CS. This means that the energy in the fuel is more efficiently used and less of that fuel is going to be needed. This is particularly advantageous when using fast burning fuels like CNG or hydrogen, as the combustion pressure can be quickly converted into rotational energy. In order to demonstrate how the CV technology functions in an engine, let's look at the cutaway model. This proof of concept prototype represents a two cylinder, two stroke engine. Look closely and you'll notice that the center shaft rotates 90 degrees per piston stroke. In this engine, that means that the cylinder fires twice per revolution. Another design advantage of the CV engine is the fixed connecting rod. This allows the oil lubricated rotating components to be completely isolated from the combustion chamber. In this two-stroke engine, the underside of the piston acts as the pumping mechanism for the intake. And because this piston makes no contact to the cylinder wall, the fuel does not require any oil to be added for lubrication. All right, let's fire up our running AA01 prototype. If you'd like to know more or to contact us, visit cvmotiontech.com.